Welcome back. Will Worsham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal. Will, how's it going? It's going well. No, nice for real. Tell you. us the truth. Yeah. It's going great. <laughs> you're you're kind of dressed in black today. What the, what's that all about? I, Are you feeling solemn or anything? No, I you just, just kind of like it. It just looks like, nice on just you. Just like it Johnny Cash. Nice. Leave alone. If you went and looked at my closet, you would see it's probably... 75% black. Is that right? Really? Yeah, really. I you just to gravitate that. toward that? I do. Mm -hmm. Then guess what Kelly and I are going to get you for Christmas? <laughs> something black. Oh, something, no, something, something, neon. something, something neon. Something neon. <laughs> something neon bright. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, how about this color? I, I have a color? shirt that I, I had when I was, got made when I was in China one time, and it's it is kind of it's sort of green but orange. You know, mm -hmm. it changes colors. Oh, oh like oh, iridescent. Yeah. yeah. You want me to wear that next week? Please. Okay, I'll. I'll, I'll uh, okay. I'll, I would love it. I'll think about it. That'd be awesome. Well, Kelly and I will try to coordinate. <laughs> yeah, to we match. will. Okay. All right. okay. Well, it's time for this week's question. Are you ready, Will? Yeah, I'm ready. We're going to okay. try to stump you, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, here's this week's question. My grandson drove me to a doctor's visit and after to pick up my prescription. I left my medication in his car accidentally overnight. Now, fortunately, I got it from him the next morning. But would it have been a problem for him to have my prescribed medication in his car? Would that have been a problem? You know, I always like, I, I kind of want to ask, what do you think? I think I, no. I kind of think it might be because the owner of the car that it's registered to, if there's a prescription in there that it, it, they shouldn't be driving with, I think it could be a problem. I think it's a problem. Oh, really? Because I've had my problem. dad's prescription in my car. Okay. Because so, we have the same last name. Right. That's why well, that's a good question. And so, for you know, sure. ultimate, yeah. and, you know there's a, is it a problem? Is it a big problem? Is it a massive problem? There are different mm -hmm. ways to answer the okay. question. Is it a problem? Could a police officer, if they pulled him over and searched the car and say, you have a controlled substance mm -hmm. that's prescribed to someone else, not you, in your possession. Mm -hmm. That's illegal. It's possession oh. of a controlled substance that you don't have a prescription for. Mm -hmm. Could a police officer arrest uh, him for that? Yeah, that could happen. Could charges be filed? Yes, they could. Is there a plausible defense? Absolutely. Okay. But is it a problem? Yeah, it's kind of a problem. You, I mean, if you think about it in the broader scope of things, is it? could you conceive of a person at some point who maybe has a drug problem stealing their grandmother's. Oh, that oh, yeah. happens That's all true. the time. True. Yeah, it does mm -hmm. happen all the time. And so you have to sometimes when you think about these things, think about them from what might a law enforcement officer think might possibly be going on here right mm -hmm. and that's a plausible scenario and kids not kids but people always say if if they're guilty they'll say it's not mine oh uh, <laughs> it's not mine <laughs> i used to be a prosecutor right yeah. you know years yeah. ago and uh, we actually on two separate occasions uh, read a report where a, a person was arrested um, illegal substances were found in their pocket of their pants mm -hmm. and they told the officer these are not my pants <laughs> are you Twice. kidding me two separate occasions what? not my pants yeah you're wearing them i know not my pants that was their mm -hmm. defense yeah so yeah things like this <laughs> the not my pants defense does yeah. it make a difference it work, by the oh, way. Okay. i hope it didn't i pray our justice system worked in that case better than that <laughs> yeah does it make a difference what the prescription is for yeah uh, theoretically it could because there are certain prescriptions that are drugs of abuse and drugs that are not i mean if we're talking about an opioid prescription well, yeah heard all about that but like high blood pressure yeah. medicine yeah highly unlikely that you're going to have yeah. that uh just for recreational purposes right. shall we say um, so, yeah, I think it would depend. I mean, if you're, we're talking about a reasonable officer looking at a reasonable situation, and I mean, you know, in this situation, you can see that the prescription was for that day. Right. Hopefully, a, a mm -hmm. law enforcement officer would look at it and go, eh, maybe this was reasonable. Maybe, you know, it's a plausible explanation. I don't need to write a report. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a total judgment call. Right. You know, and then an mm -hmm. officer could easily say, you know, it's not my decision whether or not to file charges. That's the prosecutor's mm -hmm. decision. It's my responsibility to write the report. So they right. write gotcha. the report. Right. Maybe there wouldn't be an arrest. Maybe there would. Yeah. Uh, but the report would then go to a prosecutor. A prosecutor would make a decision. If they decide to file charges, then you need somebody, well, like me. Yeah, like <laughs> we'll worship. Yeah. Well, Yeah. What Would they have to have probable cause to search the car? Uh, they would, or, okay. or at least reasonable suspicion. Mm -hmm. They would. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as long as, you know, if they pull you over for speeding, that's probably not reasonable suspicion or probable cause. Um, but you see all types of things. Well, the, the defendant was acting nervous. Yeah. Right, yeah, act, yeah. Who doesn't act nervous when they're pulled over by <laughs> yeah, the police? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If they but, think I'm uh, guilty, I'm going to act I, guilty. Yeah. You know? And knowing me, like if I was a cop, I don't know. They have such long names for these prescription medicines. Yeah. I wouldn't even know what it is or what it does, yeah. though. Right. So I can yeah. understand them being a little bit Well, I guess you most it. law enforcement officers are probably more familiar with what they, those words are. Yeah, right. than I would be. All yeah. right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, Will. Will. If you have a legal question for Will, you can email him at wworsham at color10.com and he'll 
answer your question right here on the show like he has for me before. Absolutely. Thank you. And you've got a good one. Write it in yeah. next week. Okay. Coming up, Mike the intern is finally back in the studio with us. Don't go away. Ozarks Live will be right back.